troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes and with what violent hatred they hate me. O guard my life and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in thee. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for thee. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, and for I know my iniquity and my sin is continually before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and thou knowest evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth the unknown, and hidden things thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, make not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a ruling spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, even in the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, thy God of my salvation, <clears throat> and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise, for if thou hast desired sacrifice, I would have given it. If thou wilt not be pleased with all burnt offerings, sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and I give pleasure in the Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation, and all burnt offerings. Then shall they offer the lips upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse, and belatedly told the apostles, death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The image of God was truly preserved in thee, O Mother. For thou didst take up the cross and follow Christ by doing so, and thou taught us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away, but to care instead for the soul, for it is immortal. Therefore, my spirit, O Holy Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Deo Tocos, thou art a true vine, the bloom and fruit of life blossom. We entreat thee, O Lady, and proceed together with the apostles and all the saints, that mercy may be granted to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord, day by day, God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Have mercy.
stars with your right hand, they will not come near you. You will only look in your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your habitation, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge of you, charge you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion in the air, and you will lie in the serpent, you will trample on your foot. Because he pleased me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will rescue him in honor him. Long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyousness of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse. And the lady they told the apostles, death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, grant to the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The image of God was truly preserved in thee, O Mother, for thou didst take the cross and follow Christ. By doing so, thou taughtest us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away, but to care instead for the soul, for it is immortal. Therefore, my spirit, O Holy Mother Mary, rejoices with the angels, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We have no boldness because of the multitude of our sins, but entreat you reportedly over to the Apostles. For the prayer of the Mother has great power to win the favor of the Master. Do not despise the supplications of sinners of all your one. Merciful and strong to save is he who will suffer for us. Thy compassion is with the for us, O Lord, for you to conceive me for help us, O God, our Savior. For the sake of the glory of thy name, O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions, O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I give the power of my will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <laughs> Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Having been a sinful woman, thou became through repentance the bride of Christ. Having attained angelic life, thou didst defeat demons with the weapon of the cross. Therefore, O glorious Mary, thou art a bride of the kingdom. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who every season and every hour in heaven and on earth, are worshipped and glorified of Christ our God, who are long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who love us and does and shows mercy upon the sinner, who call us to all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come, O Lord, and this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels 
Do thou, O Master, love us men, find and accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words and thoughts. Rather wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee, the eternal light that no man can approach. We may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, Father, without beginning, together with thy only begotten Son, and thy all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, bless. In the prayer of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Mm -hmm.
suffering man, and nailed upon the cross of his own will, he who raised us with himself. Therefore, with the cross, we glorify the passion and the resurrection, through which we have been made anew, and through which we have been saved, crying, Remember us also in thy kingdom.
became this high priest of the good things to come. But the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, that is, not of his creation, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, he entered the most holy place once for all, having attained eternal redemption. For if the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of ever sprinkling the unclean sanctifies for the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without a spot to God, cleanse your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor, for you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you who are as baptized into Christ have put on Christ, there is neither Greek nor Jew, there is neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Alleluia, and forth to my own, alleluia, 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 go forth, prosper and reign for the sake of meekness, righteousness, and truth. Alleluia. Yet it shall not be among you, but whoever 
every side, I come pray among you, shall be your servant. And whoever you desire to be first shall be slave of all. For even the man, son of man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. <coughs> and one of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went down to the Pharisee's house and sat down to eat. Behold, a woman in the city who was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus was at the table of the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster flask, prayed it all, and stood at his feet behind him, weeping. And she began to wash Jesus' feet with her tears, and wiped him with her hair of her head. And she kissed his feet, and anointed him with the fragrant oil of her head. And then she kissed him. Now when the Pharisee had come, who had invited Jesus to saw this, he spoke to himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, should know what, what manner of woman this is, teaching to him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answered and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he said, Teacher, say, There was a certain creditor who had two debtors, one owed five hundred denarii and the other fifty. And when they, they had nothing with which to repay, he freely forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him more? Simon answered and said, I suppose the one whom he forgave more. And he said to him, You have rightly judged. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I am your house. You gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my, been with my, my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You, you did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore, I say to you, her sins, which are many, Given, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same love little. Then Jesus said to her, Your sins are forgiven. And those who sat at the table with him began to say to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sin? And Jesus said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Glory to
undergo the baptisms of suffering and death. This is the way of complete self-sacrifice for the kingdom is not grasping for earthly authority and status. The other disciples were understandably angry, and when they heard that James and John were jockeying for position, and the Lord reminded the whole group that humble service, not domination, is the way of life eternal. For even the Son of Man did not come to be saved, but to serve and to give his life for many. On that day, James and John surely had to face up to their failure and live up to the teaching and example of Jesus Christ. Then to make things right, both with the Lord and their fellow disciples. On this fifth Sunday of Great Lent, we remember St. Mary of Egypt. Someone also came to see that she had fallen short of the Lord's expectations. Mary was an infomaniac and a prostitute, totally enslaved to her own first sexual passions. Her life was truly an obscene, an obscene scandal. But everything changed when the invisible force prevented her from entering the church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. She then asked humbly for the help of Theotokos. Entered the church to venerate the Holy Cross and obey the divine, the divine command to spend the rest of her life in repentance and strict asceticism as a hermit in the desert. When the monk Dosima stumbled upon her almost 50 years later, he was amazed at her holiness. But like the saints, she was aware only of her sin in her own gear, in her ongoing need of Christ's mercy. When Mary of Egypt prayed before the icon of the Theotokos, she acknowledged for the first time that she had the truth about her life. She had heard in the past that Jesus came to save sinners, and now she knew that she was one. And that humble confession was the beginning of a life of such holiness that we did, that we devote a Sunday in each year to her memory. Have you ever noticed that we do not hide repentant sinners in our church instead we put them on icons and sing about them. For that is such wonderful examples of the kind of people we hope to become in our, we hope to become by our, our God's mercy. Mary of Egypt, like James and John, had knowledge of the truth about her pleasure. <laughs> These disciples had wanted only power and she wanted only pleasure. But they all eventually accepted the Lord's correction and their fault became the saints. People of new lives shine brightly with holiness. As we near the end of our life of Lent, let us follow the, the example by honestly confessing our sins, both in the sacrament of confession and in our daily private prayers. For nothing that we have thought, said, or done is beyond forgiveness by the mercy of Christ. No damage that we have done to ourselves or others is beyond his healing. No human being, no human being is beyond repentance. And yet that includes people like you and me. So take heart, keep hope alive. The same Lord who patiently corrected power hungry disciples and who made great length one of our grossly immoral women. A saint out of one of our most hopeful. Has plans for us also, and they resolve involve life and righteousness, which we will find by repentance, by humbly setting right what has gone wrong in our lives, by accepting His correction, and finding healing for the self-inflicted wounds that we all bear. Yes, Jesus Christ is in Jesus Christ there is hope for all, no matter what we have done or left undone. Now, so near the end of Lent, it is time for us to go over, to get over our pride and embarrassment, our slavery to ourselves, serving illusions, and to take the medicine of confession and repentance as we get ready to follow our Savior into the deep mystery of his cross and the empty tomb. He drank that cup because of our sins, and we will only be able to follow him on that blessed journey ourselves in humility to his merciful and healing strength.
mercy, Lord, have 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 mercy, the Archpriest Dimitri, the Archpriest Antonio, Carol, Karen, Bruce, Saeed, Carrie, Stephen, Jim, Porter, Charles, James, and Dean. May their memory be eternal. We pray also for the health of Mary, Matushka Susan, Matushka Elizabeth, Clark, Jeff, Saeed, Brandon, Annie, Andrew, Bertie, Rachel, Elaine, Kayla, Andrea, Dax, Virginia, Bennett, Ruthie, Kayla, Iris, Michael, Gina, Jeannie, Kelly, Aiden, Abigail, David, Dean, and Pat. God grant them many years. O most holy Trinity, consubstantial power, undivided kingship. Be gracious unto me as soon, confirm and instruct my heart, and take away from my from me that every <coughs> found enlighten my mind. 